Hello, hello. This is Paul from PA Brew News, and we're going to be doing Founders Centennial IPA today. This comes in at 7.2% alcohol by volume, and it's 65 IBUs. It's uh, dry hopped and unfiltered, so I'll have to definitely check that out. Um, FoundersBrewing.com. They're from Grand Rapids, Michigan. There we go. There's cap, 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 cap. There you go. We're gonna get some sediment in this, unfiltered. I've noticed a lot of times when it's a, this sediment in IPAs, like double IPAs and stuff, there, it doesn't settle. It, you get it in there, basically. There's rarely a time when I ever see one that's actually, you know, yeast caked all the way down so you can pour it nicely, but yeah, just a nice haze. It's it's not like a Belgian haze. They're just very small particles floating around. It's not chunky. Not chunky. I'm expecting a very west coasty kind of vibe from this. Ooh. Thick thick roasted caramel flavors. Mixed with a huge amount of pine. Huge West Coast character on this. Bitch of orange. Mixing with that with that thick caramel flavor. A little bit of a just a touch of a, like a spicy kind of a, a, a like a lime or lemon. Got a spicy lemon zest. Just a touch of it though. Mostly what I'm getting is this huge caramel pine and a bit of really ripe orange mixing with the sweet caramel. Let's find. Find all my bottles. There we go. Fixed it. Cheers. Uh, <coughs> 65 IBUs. It's amazingly got a good, nice bitterness to it. It's smooth. The caramel, the, that that roasted sense is in the flavor a lot. It's not too sweet, but it is. It does give you the hints of caramel when you drink it roasted. The pine is it's amazing in the aroma and in the flavor. The pine is the star in this. Really piney. Nice sitting bitterness. It sits down really and just dissolves in the front of your mouth and in the back. All the way. And the pine just sits down with it. It's really, if you like the West Coast style with the pines and stuff, this is really good. And it's not even from the West. It's from the Midwest. The heart of America. Ah, mm. Not really getting too much other than a zesty lemon, zesty orange mixed with a huge amount of pine and a nice slight roasted caramel flavor going on with it. But it's very nice. Excellent. I wish I could have actually read some more to you about the beers, but they don't really put too much on it. But the IBUs and it's 7.2%. Um, the the bitterness in it makes it um, less drinkable, so you can't slam a few back. But the 7.2% really isn't a key player in drinkability. You, you really can't tell. It's the IBUs that make it a little bit less sessionable. So that's nice. Mm. Excuse me. Burpee, burpee, burpee. But this is a good one. This is definitely. I'm not gonna. I'm not too overwhelming by overwhelmed by it. Um, for what it is, though, it's definitely good. I'm gonna give this one. I'm not gonna give this one an eight or an eight. It's it's an eight point five. There you go. You're gonna get into the points with this one. Eight point five because it isn't. It is. It's above average, definitely. And it's it's not a nine, but it's definitely worth trying. Everybody should get a hold of this. Um, the the star for founders for me so far has been their, their 
quarter. I haven't had their breakfast stout or their or their Kentucky breakfast stout, but I've had their porter and it's absolutely fantastic. This has been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers!